Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in the Dank's little video. is going to be a kind of continuation of the one I just did about going up the tools option and opening up the edit page. This right here, your your angle, when you're holding down your control, this will constrain your ankle, angle. So if you take this just long rectangle and hold down your control button, double click it, it will only let you go 15 degrees at a time, which is pretty cool in itself. Well, let's just back up here. Well, let's say you don't like that. Well, you can go to tools, options, and you can make that five degrees easily. Hold down your control button, and then now it's only going to move at five degrees. So that's not really the reason for the for the uh, video but as you can see let's just take this one out of the way for a second if I wanted to make this at a 90 degree angle a second one I would hit control D and then just go over here and rotate this 90 degrees so then you got two of them but this one was starting out at zero let's say you drew something and it's not quite you know it's not quite at zero well it's even off before that it's at 334 point something degrees. So you'd have to get out a calculator to make a duplicate of that. But all you have to do is go up to your tools, options, and change this to 90 degrees. Control D, make a duplicate, double click it. And there you've got another 90 degree cross looking thing. But perpendicular to each other and just while we're here real quick you can get your shape tool and you can see your nodes but you can go up to tools options on that same page and make your nodes larger you know I don't know that that's going to be that important but it might you know there's a couple people uh, might be able to not see as good I don't know uh, but it's pretty neat to be able to see them because if you make them all small and this generally would be you know like right now if it's that far you know well you wouldn't ever be working that far out of your screen but if you hit your select your tool and you can definitely see them now where you go to options edit and make them back to small which I think is default you can't really you know especially when you make a new node if you made a new node right there it's highlighted till you're off of it anyway but if you like that you need to change it and then change it to default I'm going to change this back to 15 because that's what I'm used to working with and in the previous video I just did about drawing precision I got mine it's at, at five now but you need to go up to tools and save it as default now every time you use you turn Corel on and off that's what you'll get anyway hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching